Well, there you have it. Stacey is out. She has become your sixth evictee of the series. She's been edited out by the housemates. You lot sent her to hell, and now you've sent her home by my sofa. Things are going to get cray cray. It's time for Celebrity Big Brother's Bit on the Side. need to talk about that toilet door has had another cameo tonight in it the old yeah. toilet door yeah. of Jamie and Bianca who confessed their love after only two weeks um, oh. the house degraded into a bit of a feral cat fight James C's words not mine and um, I don't know if you forgot but it's eviction night yeah. yeah the woman who gave us classic lines such as you get in my damn nerves get in my face <laughs> Has become your sixth. I love doing that. I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it. She's become the sixth housemate to be booted out into the cold January night. But I'm going to be turning up the heat because Stacey's going to be taking a seat on my sofa very soon. Also tonight, if that wasn't hot enough for her, she's going to be facing a bit of a grilling. Ooh. Yeah, the beast herself, old Linda the cow, is going to be milking the truth out of her. <laughs> Don't want to miss that one. Uh, and if that wasn't enough, the gorgeous Emma Willis is going to be here. <laughs> She's going to be giving us all the gloss on tonight's going on. Plus, we're going to be catching up with the house to see how they're coping with that Stacey-shaped hole they've got going on. Uh, but I'm going to need some help tonight. And uh, tonight, we've got three women who probably wouldn't look out of place on the night out at the Chippendales. So, first up, she is my second favourite receptionist after Anne Hathaway in The Devil Wears Prada. It's a great film. It's a great film. I love her. It's Paisley Billy! <laughs> The Geordie Lass who entered the house last summer met the man of her dreams. They lived happily ever up. <laughs> well, they were when we've written this intro, but we don't know with them two. It's Marnie Simpson! <laughs> and last but not least, she's the star of X Factor's Judges Houses. Um, I'm a celebrity dancing on ice, the jump circle, the celebrity, celebrity wife swap, celebrity comes down with me, celebrity, 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 all star family, fold it's Anita! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and the cooking one as yeah. well. Yay. We all know who's doing the dishes. <laughs> uh, right, stay soon. She's become the sixth evictee of the series. It's time to see what this lot and this lot make of it. But before we do, can I just say one more time, back by popular demand, it's the legend Sunita, everyone. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not many 84 year olds that can come on this show and look like that. They're right. I'm actually just one year older than Kim. One year older than Kim. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. All right. All right. Um, babe, let me come to you first. Stacey's out. Right choice? Oh my God. Do you know what? It was time because she was losing it. She you was did. losing it. I wanted her to stay because she was so crazy, but she, it was like not even funny crazy anymore. She was like upset about her laundry. It was like getting she'd hit breaking so point in that house, hadn't yeah. she? She'd really hit it. Marnie, I'm, look, you've been in there. You know what it gets like. Do you think it was the right oh, time for her God, to go? Oh God, she was an absolute nut job. She oh, was she she's to gonna go. be here in a minute. Watch out! Oh God, no, it was time for her to go. She just wasn't enjoying it anymore, and she was very angry. Yeah. Mm, all the time, all yeah, the yeah. time. We did well. see the anger in our pace. You know I wanted her to stay in. Yeah, I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> I know you did. Are you glad she's gone? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. I, am. I don't care if you two disagree, yeah. I'm going to miss her singing. Oh, I'm going to yeah. miss her yeah. run. Yeah, like, but she I'm wasn't singing. Her. She wasn't like, singing. Don't worry about the singing. Which, you could catch her at the hippodrome on the 9th of March. 
No, no, just go, go to the showcase. <laughs> when she got really pissed off and she was, like, up there... Yeah. Mm. She was basically oh, singing, yeah. wasn't she? Yeah. yeah. When she was good, she was good. When she was good, she was good. Oh, John's yeah. piping up. Go on, John. I love that. Yeah. No, Stizzy came in. She came in like a beautiful diva. She yeah. had a voice. Yeah. And then yeah. she yeah. turned. Yeah. Then she yeah. turned. Yeah. She had the spirit yeah. of a Tasmanian yeah. devil. Yeah. I, I see a lot of Stacey in you, John. Yeah. I reckon John could get a bit like that. Just turned. Um, well, she did say, she was the first one to admit she's had the hardest time in there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sunita. Did she have the she hardest did, time? She did, she did. You know what was sad for her was... Cos, no, but remember when she first went in and they told her she was edited? Well, she was edited out. But she you ain't got a mic! No, but people would have thought... <laughs> she thought that that meant nobody was seeing her or mm. was it, that she was invisible. So then when she was back in the show, she was sort of over trying to overcompensate, <laughs> trying to oh, sing, trying to be loud, like, I'm here, I'm here, you've missed... I've missed a whole week. But she doesn't realise we saw her all the time complaining. Marnie, where, where do you yeah. think it, it went wrong for Stacey that the public didn't get behind her tonight? I just feel like people were just bored of seeing her just shout no. and scream. Yes. Like, I don't think I could have taken any more of it. Like, it's just, it was annoying. It got annoying after a while. On you. Yeah, it started to great on me. And there's like, you can have two different types of like being in a case. You've got Kim, people sort of like her. Yeah. away with it. She, she was yeah. just the unlikable nookie who none of us really wanted to see anymore. Hayes, let's, look, we've spoken about Stacey. Do you think anyone's had a bit of a lucky escape tonight? There's a lot of them up tonight. Nicola, Nicola and Colleen. Nicola and Colleen. Yes. Tell yeah. me why. I think Colleen should have gone, really. No, I think Nicola. You think Nicola? Nicola you think Colleen? See, I think she Nicola can get a blight. Like, Colleen is just, she's just boring me now. Like, all she does is gossip. But it's not even fun gossip. Like, it's not like she's bitching. She's just chatting shit I for do no agree. reason. Do I do agree. Agree. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. Sunita? Troubles me. Yeah, I'm tired of that, too. You're I'm tired, tired of that. Boring, but I think Nicola's a bit mean. She's like the mean girl. Yeah. Yeah. You know, she's mean. Mean. That's the one thing she said she didn't want to come across as, isn't it, Nicola? Oh. You, you she's don't literally agree? hit the nail on the head, then. She's literally came across horrendous. Yeah. You think she has? So awful and mean and nasty. She was mean when Jedford was dancing, having a good yeah. time. Yeah. 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 She's got top bed. They were only having a nice little time yeah. of a pizza, but come on. <laughs> uh, well, listen, the saved housemates tonight, they know that they're quite in favour with the public, at least for now. Um, yeah. Do we think we're going to see any changes, Barney, in the people that were up tonight that have now been saved? Do you think that that might give them a bit of a confidence boost? To think well, I'm, I'm, ho I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't give Nicola an ego boost, because I think that might happen. Oh. Definitely. Yeah. Because right. she'll think that people like the way she's going on, which we don't. We do not like no, it. No, we don't like it. No. Jess gets a clear run for Callum now, because... Oh. Stacey's not telling her we still have no chance. Jessica, yes. I'm stopping you. Jess, beautiful Jessica. Yeah, yeah. Sunita, it's easier to ignore him. It really is. <laughs> it is, isn't it? We love him. Paul, what are we going to say? You know what, Ryan? I think Jamie had a lucky escape because now he's going to yeah. think that all that slurping behind the toilet door yeah, yeah. kept him in. Oh, well, do you know what? what? And I would rather... Yeah. You think it did, Marnie? Yes, it did. We want to save that! Ever. I'd rather have Stacey shouting the place down. No, we yeah. Yeah. Let's not talk about slurping behind the toilet door, Marnie. Uh, <laughs> I'm a fan of that baby. <laughs> uh, listen, they might not be safe for long because, as Emma said, there is a double eviction looming Ooh. on Friday Ooh. night. So, Sunita, they've not nominated yet, but who do you think could potentially be tonight? a Tonight? No, not, no, darling, one tonight. Oh. <laughs> Two on Friday, okay. darling. Two on Friday, Two on, okay. Unless okay. there's a judge that next to us, you don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, who do you think might be in danger of going on Friday, do you think? Jamie! Nicola. You think Nicola? You don't. Jane don't. I think Nicola's consistent. I, I think everyone I know loves Nicola. She's, yes. she's great. I love her. Oh, you're piping up. But Jamie has oh, to Oh, a bit low tonight, girl. Go on. Go on the Tuesday. <laughs> no, but Jamie has to go. I hate the way he dissed Nicola and then he wants her back, then he's not with her, then he's... Don't play with her. Come Wait, on. Jamie That's evil. Nicola. It's cruel. Nicola. Do you mean Bianca? Do you, no, do you mean when Jamie and Nicola were having a little flirt? Do you mean? And, oh, or Bianca? Bianca. Oh, Bianca. Bianca. Yeah, Bianca. <laughs> That's, all That's, all That's all I'm saying. She's got other things on her mind. Um, please, who would you like to see out there? Who do I want to see out? Definitely Colleen and maybe Jess, you know. Oh, Jessica! Oh, yes. 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 
controversial. Yes, Why? Yes, no. I didn't know. I don't know what it is about her, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Out, I just feel like she's gone in there and wh what done it for me was when she said to Stacey, you don't know what I've been through, I've been through work. Yeah. I mean, that was that. That. Do you know what, I'm done, I wash my hands when yeah, we actually know what, maybe something but really bad. Don't she don't know what Stacey's been through. Yeah. Been through Listen, I, I, can I can settle this argument, none of you know what I've been through. All right. Yeah. 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 Uh, give him a round of applause. This is the first thing I've Right, it is double trouble on Friday, as she revealed earlier. And who better to give us all the goss than my beautiful partner in crime? She is the Richard to my Judy, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Check out. No, I'm going to go as far as saying she's the French to my Saunders. Oh. She's the Simon to my Sunita. Oh. And uh, she is the Jed to my wood. <laughs> oh. For the gorgeous Mrs. Emma Willis. I've got to say, it looked like your funnest interview so far. I swear to God, right, she was hilarious. She, she was. was. It was so, a good interview. Like, it, I know we've seen those bits of her, but as I said to her tonight, we have seen the bonkers side of you as well. Mm. And I think that's what makes an interesting housemate is when we see all those sides. Um, some people just are overwhelmed by massive personalities. She divides opinion, doesn't she? So you either kind of, uh, you're, not, you're not bothered by people who are that kind of loud and in your face and explosive, or they really rub you up, up the wrong way. Um, I quite like people like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> and she was, a, you know, she has been in almost every show. She has created oh, content, yeah, and I her. think she's been a really good housemate. Are you, are you, are you sad that she's gone? Then? Sad that she's gone, but I'm not happy that she's gone. I think it was probably about the right time for her. She said herself, like, yes, I'd like to have got to the final, but I really want to see my kids, so I'm happy either way, you know. Yeah. And I think if you have that mentality as a housemate, then great, because you're not disappointed and you've had a good time and you've had a nightmare time. You and love this time and you it. get to go home and see kids. And you said she's been part of pretty much every episode. We've seen something surrounding Stacey. Do you think the house? Dynamic's going to change now that she's not there because, like you said, even though sometimes she slipped a little bit under the radar in the background, she was always quite present yeah. with yeah. Stacey. Do you think we're going to see a bit of shift in house movement now? Uh, I don't think so because as she was kind of with the original set of housemates. She was very much kind of in with them. They'd kind of, I suppose, learnt how to cope with her and, mm. and, and with her craziness. And the craziness was always seemed to be directed at the new housemates. Oh, she didn't like the new ones? No. Oh, dear. No. <laughs> Terrible love. Uh, but as I said tonight, like, they are legitimate housemates as well. So, you know, you kind of got to accept them at some point. They're there, Stace. They are they're, there. They're, they're, and they're not going anywhere unless they get evicted. Um, so, so I, d I don't know if it will affect anyone specifically. Do you know what I mean? She mm. didn't, like, like, if Colleen had have left, James would have really felt it. Yeah. And, um... I think if Nicola would have gone, if a, Nicola a lot would have of gone, people would have felt Quite a lot that. of people would have felt it. Um, I think if Spidey gone, uh, Spidey gone, I know that they've been annoying people the past couple of days, but I still think they'd have felt it because they've all got on mm. up until this point. It's true. Um, so it's not like... She was kind of spread amongst everybody. She she wasn't tight with specifics. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not sure if it will make a difference. I would say it'd be calmer, but Kim's in there, so I don't think it will be. <laughs> well, look, let's talk about Kim very quickly. I know we've got a double eviction on Friday. Firstly, yes. are you looking forward to the dirty double? Oh, I love a dirty she double. She loves the dirty double. She does. Um, I can... Um... Were you getting price then? <laughs> cool, we're a bit pricey. Cool. Um... Housemates, you're going to like this. 
<laughs> Stop it. Don't. Don't, because I'll, I'll lose it. Don't. Oh, sweetheart. No. Come on. <laughs> you be pricing, I'll be Kim. <laughs> cool, Kim. Can't believe you said that about me. Cool, just because turn you down. <laughs> We're gonna go. Stop it. No, I've got notes. Housemates are nominating tonight, guys. Yeah. They're gonna be nominating tonight. Yeah. Um, so we'll try and bring you some gossip on that. We mm -hmm. probably won't. Um, yeah, but yeah, let's give some exclusives, shall we? Yeah, oh, we That'd be nice. Yeah. Who do you think could be in trouble tonight? Um, who be will be in. I do love it, Kim. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> uh, Kim, Kim, yeah. yeah. Kim and Jedwards. Yeah. Kim and Jedwards. Yeah. yeah, I think that's. Kind of a given, isn't it? Kim and Jedward, I think if it's it's a normal n nominations process, I think they're going to be up every time because everyone knows everyone's voting for them and they're always up. And so I think them definitely Spidey, we know. And uh, uh, I think possibly Colleen. You think Colleen could be up? Yeah. Because of this drama that's been. Yeah, going I on. think I think again I think Bianca and Callum will escape it. I think. You think? Yeah. Just slip under the radar. I don't know if you've noticed this. I don't know if you've noticed this, but have what? you noticed it's what? a bit like a crash in there at the minute? It's quite childish at times in that house, isn't it? It's so childish. Isn't it? And that links yeah. me into a great game Even that I thought we'd play. Shall we? Here we go. Yeah. We've just rolled the cow, don't ruin the illusion of telly M. Right, I've got some baby photos yes. for you of our housemates, and all I need you to do is guess who they are. You up for it? Yes. Right, let's have a look at housemate number one. Oh, what a bonny baby! What a bonny, beautiful girl! Poor little darling, look at her. Look at her with that fringe, darling. Who do you think it could be, lovey? Love. Are you giving me a clue? No, darling, I'm doing... Oh. Who do you think it could be? I think it might be Nicola. You think or it's... Bianca. I need an answer, lovely. Who do you think it could be, darling? I need an answer. We're going to fall off the edge. Bianca. Yeah. You're going to go for Bianca? Yeah. It is Bianca. Yes. Well done, We've got time for one more. Only one? Only one more, darling. You've spoken too much. Let's take a look at this. <laughs> Let's take a look. Who's, who's housemate number two? Look at that face. Black and white. Look James. There. James C. James C. You think it's James, James C? C? Let's take a look, lovely. It's James C, darling. Darling, darling, two out of two. <laughs> I watched dirty films as well, didn't I? Good luck to you. I love her. She done well tonight. Give it up for Emma Willis! Dead to my wife. Stacey, our box girl, grilling, plus talking of grilling, make no mistake, because Kapow, it's time to ride my cow! Yeah. Oh, she loves a good ride, does our Willis? I'll try it. Uh, if Stacey thought that he was on while she was in that house, it is nothing compared with this. Don't move a muscle. We'll see you after this break. See you after this. <laughs> Brothers bit on the side. Now listen, it is time for the big one. She survived 22 days in the house. She clashed with Kim. She clashed with Jessica. She fell for Callum Burst. Uh, but we all know she certainly got the X Factor. But now you've made her an ex-housemate. I wonder what she thinks about that. What does Stace? What do you... This is some Okay, gonna hit a new level of cray cray. No one knows what she's been through, but we're about to find out. Give it up for your six evicted, Stacey! <laughs> start by saying someone is working the leg slit ladies and gentlemen yes girl hi 
Hi. So, so lovely to meet you. Hi, this you're is... Rylan, right? I'm Rylan, yeah. It's lovely to meet you, darling. Are you so, so nice. Soon? Yes, I'm Stacey. I, I, feel, I feel like we're best friends already. I, uh, listen, I've heard all about you and you're amazing. Ooh. Babe, well, I've been yeah. studying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Babe, how yes. gutted are you to be out of that house tonight? I'm not, Are no. you all right? No, I'm so happy. I had such an amazing time. I think my only regret would be, like, I like making sure that I'm cool with people. I don't like, like, leaving on a bad note or, you know, bad feelings, so... I Just would... don't mention washing. Right, you know, so... <laughs> Actually, Kim and I did a task yesterday. Sure? I don't, did you see it? So we got a chance to sort of kiss and make up a little bit. Um, there could have been a little more with Jessica as far as, like, making up the damage with misunderstandings there. But overall, I'm ready to see my kids and... And, right? and not only your children... Yeah. ...perform at the Hippodrome on the 9th. Yes, March 9th! We are the plug, girl. March you got 9th, it. I am performing at the London Hippodrome, and I would love for you guys to come. We're going to go! Yeah. We're going to go! Um, <laughs> Yeah. Look, it's safe to say, Stace. Yes. You're, you're new to the show. You're one of our new stars. Yes. You might not have seen loads of Big Brother before, but no. you did get the end of the stick, didn't I did. you, at the start? I did, I you did. You were edited out. I was edited you out. You went to hell. I went to hell. I was sleep deprived. Um, I was... You had to wear that tracksuit. I had to wear the tracksuit. I also didn't get to go to the slumber party, like the reward. We saw. You know, it was a lot of stuff. I was like, ooh, what is going on in my life right now? But overall, it was... Also, a big lesson for me on how to maintain my composure in a moment when I just wanted to break down. It, mm. it, 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 you know what I mean? Like, I found, I found unfound self-strength. And I, I was in it, and I knew that I had to stay there for my kids. I couldn't come out. I, would, I needed that check. So... <laughs> Listen, we, you're going to get that check, baby, and you definitely deserve it. Let Thank me tell you. you, you have given us some of some of our favourite highlights of okay. the side this series. Okay. Um, should we have a little look at your bots, bit? Please. Let's do it! Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. This ain't right, this ain't right. I'm a singer, I don't want to be in the cold. This ain't right, this ain't right. Sing it. Hey, brother, I gotta pee. Pee. La, 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 la. He is extremely loud. And I'm the off key songbird. Off key. You'd make a wonderful town crier. Not okay. Not okay. Not okay. I'm sorry. I break out in song. People are t apparently tired of that. <laughs> but I don't care. I love it. I'll go louder and louder and louder and louder. I'll go as loud as I fucking want to. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. It's bullshit. I'm just going to put it yes. out there now. Can, are we all invited to Stacey the Musical? Yes! Yes, we're going! Yeah. No, you're, you're... Let's get it on the West End, baby. Let's get it we going. We will get it going on. <laughs> Stacey, literally, you've had us crazy with the singing. We absolutely... I mean, don't get me wrong, you've got a brilliant voice, but some of the things you sung literally killed us all. But it weren't just the singing. It wasn't just the singing. Some of the catchphrases, guys, wasn't it? Yeah. Some of the catchphrases. A bit like this little gem. You're getting on my damn nerves. Get out my face. You're getting on my damn nerves. I mean, who, who got on your damn nerves so much in that house? I need to know. She's gone. She's got with lost her. That's it. <laughs> OK, so that's genius. I love it so much. OK, so um, Jess, um, Jasmine was Jasmine. the worst. She was the worst. Ooh. What was it about Jasmine? Jasmine. Um, and I was very happy. And the thing that I, with Jasmine, I was very proud of the fact that I didn't pop off on Jasmine like I did on, like, Kim. Mm. I didn't... You never saw me raise my voice with Jasmine that way. I might have had a slight moment with her, but I used the game to get her out. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I used yeah, the task. Sure. And so... Yeah. So I felt very vindicated, and I felt like if, if revenge... 
We know, did see that I'm... with Jasmine. Yeah. I think it's safe to say. I know I remember in the bathroom, you tried to go and make up with her, and yeah. we did see Jasmine just not having yeah, it. And I just, think that's yeah. when we did actually fall for you yeah. quite a lot there, because yeah. we did see you trying to extend that olive yeah. branch. But it wasn't just you getting on my damn nerves to get out of my face. Yeah, yeah. There was another Stacey oh, that we was? liked. The level of cray is up here. It's up here. <laughs> Talk to me about the level of cray in that house. The though. level of cray is so funny because Big Brother was like, and I love the British accent. He was like, what does the level of cray mean? And I was like, <laughs> okay, the level of cray means there's like, you know, there's different levels. Like, you know, my, my level, your, your level might be a little bit lower than mine. My level might be right here, you know, but the cray that was came in when Kim came, it was like up here. So the level of cray. We call it the level of cray. Let's talk about Kim's level of cray. Cray, right? Yeah. Cray, the level of cray. We have definitely seen yes. Kim's level of yes. cray. And I'm quite a tall man, but I can't Ooh. reach that high for the level yes, of cray. The level with Kim. of cray, yes. She has settled down over yes. the past couple of days. Yes, she and we, has. we saw you have the argument with the washing. And yes. I know Emma's already spoke to you about this, yes. but like you said, you did sort of have that task in the diary room yesterday. Yes. We see you high fiving and yeah. working as a team. We what, got a little dancing. Yeah, we saw yes. the dog. Yes. What what are you making of Kim now after that task in the diary room? Well, unfortunately, when I came out just now, my family did give me some information about Kim that I didn't, that I wasn't aware of, something very sad that happened yeah. to her. So it gives me much more sympathy for her as a woman. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And so, um, to, know, to know that she's been through such a hard time in her life, maybe her defensive, because I have that. I'm yeah. defensive because of we my... We see, we see. You know see. what I mean? So, I have to say that now that I have this information about her, I have a, a lot more empathy about her. And I, I don't let her off the hook. No, and I yeah. think that's a really, a yeah. really fair point to say. Yes. Look, like, I mean, you're the first one to say you don't know what I've been through. That's I mean, right. let's be fair. That's right. And like we know, Kim's past has, has had a she really has colourful a very, past, unfortunately. She, yeah, and, and I didn't know that. We didn't know that in the house. We're going off of what we see in the house. Mm. So you don't know people's past. You of can't course. really have an empathy for them. But when you learn it, you got to say, OK, I kind of understand where you're coming from. But like you said, you've not let her off the hook. And I, I think that's an I don't let her off thing the, to The say. reason I don't let her off the hook is because she came in like a whirlwind. And she, she came in like a wrecking ball, she girl. She did. She did. And did the audience see that? We saw that. Okay, because I wasn't sure. I was like, does the audience really know that she came in and called Nicola a little bitch out of nowhere? It's like, because we were in there like, what the hell is going on? You know? And we just didn't know. And it's just like that. I just felt like she didn't come in like, let me gauge this. Let me get to know everybody. Mm. And if something needs to pop off, I can pop off. I'm not afraid. And being a newbie as well, you felt, I mean, more so than anyone, I think you felt quite unsettled that you thought, hang on a minute, we've been here for 10 days. I've been edited out, sleep the best. She's been through a lot. (laughs) She has been through a lot. Yeah, so, But there is something I need to ask you. Okay. Don't worry about this lot. Okay. Don't worry about the millions at home. Okay. What did you see when you saw Jamie and Bianca in the toilet? What did you see? What did you see, girl? Okay, so y'all want me to tell you the truth? Yeah! Okay, so I'm going to tell you what she told me. All right, she you tell me like, what she told okay, you, so tell me what had, you piped. What she had said was, that's like a, just the English, you know. American, yeah, yeah. American, like, slang, what she had said. Okay, so what she told me was that they were just talking, but when I walked in, she was fixing her thing. <laughs> and I was like, ooh, girl, girl. And that was when I kind of realized that they had a little, because I was naive. Yeah. I was just going over my head. She's seen it. She's but seen I it. saw a little something. It wasn't. You know, it wasn't that big, but it was a little... Deal, a big deal. We get, your deals, get your D's right. Get, get your D's, D's right. right. Yeah. Right. Um, but listen. <laughs> We know something's gone down in the house today, and we don't want you to talk about it yet uh, between Jamie and Bianca. I don't know if oh, you're... Yes, yes. Because we haven't seen today's until <gasps> tomorrow. It's horrible. But we have got an exclusive on that a bit later on in the show, so I'll be coming to you for all of that. Okay. Um, just want to say, they've dropped the L-bomb in there between the two of them, saying that they love each other. I don't know if you're aware of that. They said it's each other in bed. I know, but like I said, do not tune out because we've got an exclusive today that is going to change yeah. everything. <laughs> Um, listen, 
Listen, you have been such an amazing housemate. We think you're great. Who do you really want to win the show now? Um, hmm. This is hard because I've always been a James C. fan. I've, mm. I've had, he really was my stable, you know, he was, he was stability for me. Yeah. I think that, I think as far as like his character and his, you know, who he is with integrity and everything, it would be amazing for him to win because yeah. he is an A-list yeah. actor. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit torn between him and Colleen now. Him and Colleen. Yeah, I like Colleen. I know, I know. Listen, that's who she wants. That's, we got to no, give but, her that. But as far, okay, for the win, I say James C. You say James C. Yeah, well, listen, for the win. I know you might not have seen this show before, be familiar with me, but I'm, I'm a nice guy and I like to give people a little parting gift okay. when they go. Okay, yes. And I thought, what could I get? You're very handsome, by the way. Oh, thank you, babe. I, I paid a lot for it. Didn't used to look like this. Um, I thought, what can I get Stacey Francis as a little gift? And okay. I thought there is, we're talking about the level of cray all yes. the time, aren't yes. we? That's yes. your thing. Yes. So, Stacey Francis, I've got you your very own cray on it. Oh! <laughs> Just for you. I love it. So when it. you get Look cray, it will go up. We'll make it work. I'll get you some batteries. But not only that, because <laughs> yes. I know you love them. Yes. And I'm not going to mention that they finished further than you, really. No, no, because I know it upsets you. Okay. I've got you Jedward's secret album. <laughs> so that's for you as well. And not only that. Yeah, Level of Grey is on there now. Yes. And not only that, all my favourite housemates go away with a set of these. Their very own set of Ryland's yeah. farewell bags. <laughs> Because Stays, Stop. come round, come round. Stop. Unfortunately, Stays, from that momentous gift given, that momentous two for tomorrow, this is spin round. Oh. Unfortunately, the moment they all dread because Stacey, yes. it's time to turn you round. Oh. But you Ooh. have been brilliant, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for Stacey Francis! Yeah. Stacey, over there, join that panel, girl. Go on, Stacey Francis. We got her. She nearly yes, fell, but she's alive, guys. Yes, I saw you on YouTube for so Coming up, we're going to be finding out how the house are coping after Stacey's shock the and we'll be finding out what the panel have made of the rest of tonight's action. Plus, we've got that exclusive on Jamie and Bianca. You do not want to miss that. See you after the break. I can confirm Stacey is alive and well. Yay! She's alive. She is a trooper. Uh, but we are the show. Uh, we give you an NTA uh, nominated presenter. <laughs> Not going to win. Uh, a receptionist, uh, a professional Geordie. And um, did, did anyone actually find out what Sunita does? <laughs> OK, it's time to talk about the rest of the show. Um, <laughs> uh, we've just watched... We love you, really. We love her, really. Come on. She's a leg. All right, let's talk about tonight's show that we've just watched. We need to start with Colleen. Uh, she complained uh, when Spencer shouted in her face that no-one stood up for her. Marnie, do you think someone should have said, Spencer, stop now, or do you think Colleen's well within her arm? Like, I think Colleen is old enough to defend herself. Is like, come on! Exactly. She's an attention seeker. Yes. Totally. Yeah. Like, it's ridiculous. Well, Kat Callum yeah, said yeah, she was yeah, yeah. taking... Yeah, no. Go on, stay. No, I don't believe that that's true. She's not an attention seeker. She wanted someone to stand up for her because that's what we had been doing in the house for each other when something was wrong. If someone's sleeping in bed and someone screams in your face... No, but... Why? All right. You, I agree. Yeah, yeah, you've been, been the woman that can talk. No, I just you think... You defended yourself I think she very wanted, well. I think she wanted one of the guys to say, hey, that's not okay. Just like James J came in and stood up for me. But let, let's talk about this because Cal Callum said that she was taking it all way too personally. Paisley, do you think she was taking it personal or do you agree with what Stacey's saying? I think she took it too personal and if, she, if it really bothered her that much, she should have said something there and then when it was like, why, why ask her? Be like, oh, you should have said something. Oh, you should have said something. No, you're a big woman. Talk. There's something that I need to say <laughs> here woman. and Talk. I never, I, ne I don't want to try and paint James C in a bad light in any way, but she was speaking to James C uh, and he got very annoyed on her behalf of well that no one yeah. stepped in. Mm. But he didn't step in exactly. either. 
Stacey, okay. James sees that guy in the house, isn't it? Like you said, for you, you go to James yes. when you need to chat and stuff yes. like that. What are you making of James? Okay, so I have talked to James in, in depth because we've we spent a lot of time together. Mm. He made it very clear that since his children have been born we and since saw, he got married, we saw that he's so you changed, saw that yeah. he's changed. So he didn't want to. We don't know what his level of prey is. No. You know what yeah, I mean? No, <laughs> we don't. <laughs> <laughs> so every, so we don't know. So if if it's if he got pushed hard enough, we don't know where he could have gone. And he has. What was that? It was not James's battle. That's Colleen is Colleen. Colleen. She's trying to push James. She wants to make Silver back to fight. Yeah. It's yeah. not yeah. his. When she went in the house, she straight up said, "I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stand up for myself this time," and she hasn't. Yeah. 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 We do need to say that. In Colleen's VT, we know her pastime, but she's an all star. That she had a Julie Goodyear. She did say if someone. Someone stands up about me or doing something. I'm going to stand up for myself. Do we think she needs to? She needs to open her throat. She's a talk show host. Yeah. Open your throat and defend your own self. Yeah. 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 Did you guys not see the banter that she comes? She comes back. She's oh yeah, we see her at the law. So she definitely knows how to defend herself and. De- and she comes why do you think, do, why do you think she think, didn't then? Okay, so night. I think that when she's laying in bed sleeping and a man screams in her face, she just wanted a man to step in for her. Yeah. Okay, well, look, that that's, woman, that's a fair point. I think any woman would And look, that. Colleen's not here, so when Colleen does come out, we will talk to her about that. Don't worry about it. Um, let's talk about Jamie and Bianca again. <laughs> um, we've had the word love mentioned tonight. We like that. No, hold up, because we have a lady on the panel who... Uh, <laughs> Had a bit of a romance in the house herself. Do you think, Marnie, that this could potentially work out? Yes, yeah, I think they make an amazing couple. And for me, with me and Lewis, it happened after ten days. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We saw. And honestly, one day is like one week in that house. So no, I and I totally agree with you there. I, I do think that they are great together. But guys, guys. We've hit a bit of a stumbling block, I'm afraid, because earlier today. The housemates took part in a panel show task where it was revealed to the house that Bianca has a boyfriend. (laughs) Jamie, as you would expect, wasn't too happy. Have a look at this. I had no intentions of, obviously, a romance within the house, but... it has happened and I feel terrible for it. And, you know... You did say you were single, though. What's that? You did say you were single. (laughs) I just feel like it's just one big mess and I just can't fix it right now. (laughs) <laughs> oh, I, just, I, just, I feel like such a bad person, but I know I'm not a bad person, but I just feel like a oh, horrible human person. <laughs> she is single now. She doesn't want to be with this person. She wants to be with you. But I love that. Oh, fuck, I don't. It's not like she really doesn't want it to be spoken about. Yeah, but like, that's not the fuck. I don't want to be involved in that shit. Do you know what I mean? Shit, I nearly fell. I'm fucking so stressed like, out. I think I need that. I don't need that shit. Do you know what I mean? She said to then, me. You know she said to me she was single. Do you know what you're gonna have to do? Because it's it's out now, so she's gonna have to speak about it. I feel like they're trying to make me look like a dummy. Oh, it's a little bit icky. Um, Stace, I've got to come to you. You were in there today. When that came out today, I mean, what is the general feeling in the house between them two? Because I don't know if anyone else noticed this tonight. But tonight, during the eviction, they weren't sat next to each other and they normally do yeah. sit next to each other. What's been going on? Well, to be honest with you, Jamie is, de- is devastated. He is. He felt like she wasn't honest. But in her defence, we did have a little girl chat about who's out there that we love or care about. And she did say that there was someone, but they were not together anymore. And it was kind of like a back and forth. And it wasn't a confirmed thing. Now... Her reaction today, I'm, I got a little bit confused on, to be honest. So by her reaction today, obviously you've been in there with her. Yeah. I know we're going to see this in tomorrow night's main show. Yeah. But do you feel that when maybe you've had this girly chat that maybe she wasn't 100% honest with you? I do feel that she wasn't honest because we were on television and I kind of feel like maybe she just didn't want to tell me a full truth of it because... <laughs> because and I'm just being honest. Um, because I got I to gotta tell you, I felt like everything was going over my head because I was like, wait, what are you talking about? And then Jamie just felt like so disrespected and I Mm. felt really bad for him. 
Can I just say, Jamie don't love anyone but himself. Yeah. All he wants to do is just get his let go of anything that's moving in that house. So the word love, it can't come in. But you can't help who you fall for, though. You can't help who you fall for. Well, look, guys, make sure you tune into that main show tomorrow night because the task, it did unravel some uh, suspicions, shall we say. But listen, give him a round of applause. Good bit of chat there. Thank you, Stacey. We love an exclusive. Uh, after the break, we're going to be bringing you another juicy old exclusive. Plus, it wouldn't be an eviction night without our Stacey getting her leg over because, Stacey, it's almost time to go kapow and ride my car. Don't go anywhere. See you after the break. How it go? How it go? Tell her. Now listen, we all know Sunita, she's famed for her fashion. We've had Sunita with the Indian headdress, haven't we? We, um, we had Sunita in the pride flag, oh, we love it. And who can forget the palm tree, the leaves, we loved it. But we've never had Sunita dressed in pizza boxes like Jedward, a bit like this. Um, until now, there he is! We love her. All right, it is time now to head straight back over to the house and uh, the Bianca and Jamie saga is continuing. How do you feel? So emotionally drained. I know you are. You can tell, can't you? Yeah. And I could tell you were just trying to hold it. Yeah. Still now. Yeah. You need to let it out at some point tonight, all of it. Oh, I've, I've let it out in there massively. Yeah, but you need to do it again because yeah. still there's loads there. Yeah, I know. The thing is, forget what's happening on the outside world. You can't change what's happening on the outside world. Just carry on, like Nick said, that's what you're doing in here because mm. that's what you've been true to. And if you were to change that direction, that would look odd. So just be yourself, count in. Mm. And then just, just don't worry about it because you can't change it. No, you know, no. You, you're getting paranoid thoughts like something you don't just, know. You think of all these different, like, you don't know, it's the unknown, yeah, yeah. and it's like different thought pa um, yeah. patterns about everything. How long have you, yeah. how long have you been it's seeing that? Like, I don't talk about that. The saga continues paisley. Where do these two lovebirds go from here? Like, this is a bit of a hit, isn't it? Oh, it's peak for both of them. It's peak for both of them! Yeah! It's magic, cos I feel bad for both of them as well, but I swear Jamie used to be a player and Karma's a bitch, innit? Oh, you think it might be Karma? I'm not saying that she played him, but, like, at least now he, he kind of knows how it feels. Like, it's a little dose of his own medicine. Sonia, yeah. what are you making of it? It's obviously... Who's it's Pete? Who's Pete? I said no, it's Pete. kind of Pete it's for Pete. both of them. It's Pete. <laughs> no, there's no one called Pete. <laughs> it, it's 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 a Pete. Pete. <laughs> I'm going to leave you two to chat later after the show. <laughs> Even I knew what Pete was. Come on. <laughs> All right, guys, Stacey has hit the road to find pastures new, but it's not over yet because Stacey, kapow, it's time to ride my car! <laughs> It's time to ride my cow. Okay. No. It's time to be across and make no mistake. I want this well done. I'm going to ask you some quick fire questions and I need your rapid response. So don't give me no ball. Are you okay, ready? I'm ready. Let's chew the car. Let's do it. Who did you have the biggest beef with? Was it Kim or Jessica? Jessica. Oh, okay. Kim, 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 Kim. Kim. Who would you like to have a little roll in the hay with? Kim. Jamie Callum or Jessica Callum? Kim. She's there. Who talked the most ball? Kim! Kim! <laughs> Who's the biggest cow? Jasmine! Oh! Oh, 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 Who was a prime steak and who was a dirty old kebab? Callum Bess is a prime steak, baby. And, ooh, a dirty old kebab. Ooh, Lord Jesus, help me, Lord. I don't know. Um, uh, we're gonna say Kim. She a dirty don't old kebab. Who do you wish you'd never heard of? <laughs> oh, 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 Kim. time up. Hang on a minute. We could talk until the cows come home, but... <laughs> I've just got to get you something. Okay. Okay. Who's been a bit of a cow and said this behind your back? 
She's just really loud, seeing someone who's trying to grab all the attention and be loud all the time, it just winds me up. Was it A, Kim, B, Jessica, or C, Jamie? I think it was Kim. You think it's? Yes, Kim. You think it's Kim? I think it's Kim. It was Jamie! <laughs> Tonight. A massive thank you to my panel and a fantastic audience. Stay tuned for live from the house. I'm going to be back here tomorrow at 5 past 11. I'm going to be joined by Goggle Box Star Standing, James Well, Luke Hempner's back, and of course, this one is going to be with us until then. Night night. Well done, guys.